in my previous lecture we learned about a file we learned that a file is a logical unit of secondary storage if file is a logical unit of a secondary storage what is a file system a file system is a logical collection of these files on a partition or disk a file system in short we call it as fs controls how data is stored in the secondary storage how you retrieve the data from the secondary storage for better management of our data of end user experience we generally have multiple file systems generally have multiple file systems unix or linux operating systems use a hierarchical file system structure much like an upside down tree with root at the base of the file system with forward slash which is also called as root at the base of the file system and all other directories spreading from there here i have a forward slash if you want me to compare this with windows it is equivalent as my computer within my computer you have a c drive d drive you can have m drive for movies e drive for entertainment f drive for fun similarly these are all various directories or folders folder is a term that you use in windows the equivalent word for folder is directory what are some of the examples of file systems you have a file allocation table which is available on windows mac os and linux and unix for mac os you have hfs plus ntfs new technology file system which is for windows of course most popular one on linux is ext extended file system which is ext2 ext3 or ext4 using a command called df you can find out a specific file system type that i would explain once we come across the df command in summary my previous lecture talked about what is a file file is a logical storage unit the logical collection of such files is nothing but a file system in my next lecture we are going to talk about how file system is created from theoretical point of view that's it for this lecture